And now I'm calm. The robot is moving forward. Move forward. Forward! Forward! <laughs> Why? sponsored by swag bucks a great way to earn extra cash and gift cards by simply taking online surveys watching videos playing games and even shopping at your leisure i myself have tried swag bucks and if you wanted to go ahead and earn an extra five dollars all you have to do is click on my link in the description down below now thank you once again to swag bucks for sponsoring this video let's go ahead and get started so in the world of robotics, we've seen a lot of different unique robotic kits, but this year might be something that we've never seen before. This here is a robotic mind controlling kit or a mind controlling robotic kit. So essentially you have this link that you wear on your head and it allows you to control robots. Uh, meaning you can go ahead and steer it, you can move it, uh, you can even make it fire. Uh, just by simply using your mind. I don't know, but today we'll be finding exactly how this all plays out. This here is the uh, Brain Link by Macrotelect. Now we have both the regular version and the pro version to review today. So kind of get a better idea exactly what the difference is and seeing if we can actually go ahead and control these particular robots. Now they sent us two robots that's designed for the kit. It is the Space Warrior, which we reviewed a long time ago, but this here will be kind of fun to see exactly how it plays out with this particular uh, Brain Link kit. And then we also have this mini spider robot, which we'll be looking at as well. Now, if you guys wanted your very own Brain Link kit, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. So in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, taking a closer look at it, trying it out, of course, and seeing exactly how it functions and what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before we kind of dive into the robot, I want to go ahead and take a closer look at the Brain Link kit. So first off, we have our regular Brain Link, and then we have the Brain Link Pro. So we'll go ahead and open up the regular one first just to get a better comparison. So uh, we see your Brain Link kit right over here. Uh, and then we have ourselves a quick start guide and warranty and a carrying case. That's kind of nice. And then over here is going to be our charging cable. So you have a little button here. That's the on button. Just press this once and it's on. And then you hold it again and it'll turn off. You see the uh, port here. This will be essentially the like a little nest for our link just to kind of connect into place. So let's come through that. And then uh, you have this like band with these different sensors. So this here is our pro. So we're going to open this up. So it's a nice carrying case that says Brain Link Pro on the top and everything is in here. Wow, look at this. This one actually, I'm going to say is significantly more heavy duty. So we have an additional strap here. This here's the the leather strap that is seen in the regular model. Now, one thing I noticed is that this particular model kit has this extra like prong. So this here is going to be for the, our ear attachment. So before we go ahead and start this, we got to look at these robots next and build them and try them out. All right, so we have ourselves two different robots. Uh, we have our Space Warrior and then we have our Robotic Spider. Uh, so let's go and take a closer look at the uh, Space Warrior first. Now we previously reviewed this guy a while back. Um, I'm not sure what happened to it, but uh, it's kind of nice to add that back into our collection. But we can always go ahead and use this uh, with our brain links. We can go ahead and essentially control the movements and then even fire these discs. Now the cool thing about this particular robot is that it can just go ahead and fire these Nerf pellets and then it has a laser targeting system built right into it. Now it works as a hexapod and then essentially it's like a spider that kind of moves about and then it has these like almost like protective shields that pop off the moment they get fired at. You got a bunch of stickers. Whoa, we got a red one and then we have a brain link adapter. So it's kind of cool that, you know, this is actually like directly built into it. I like that a lot. 
Uh, so you can't, you have to provide their particular set, otherwise it won't work. So let's go ahead and queue up that montage and build ourselves our uh, Space Warrior. Next, we'll look at the spider robot. So this here is uh, a mini size robot that we can also control using our brain link. Oh boy, yeah, so it's actually a full blown on miniature robotic kits. It doesn't seem too complicated. Um, all right, so we have ourselves our mind link, brain link functionality here. All right, and then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build this guy so we can go ahead and try it out. Okay, so we're all set and ready to go. We have both of our robots here. We have our spider or space warrior and then we have a creepy crawly spider right over here that actually is quite interesting in terms of build concept anyways let's go ahead and jump right into it so this little guy right here is our brain link and in order to go ahead and connect to our space warrior we need this this here is our transmitter, which will essentially act as our remote, which connects our brain link to the receiver to Space Warrior. Uh, so yeah, kind of seems kind of crazy, but hey, hopefully this all works out. So let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put a little spider to the side for now. And then uh, this here's our brain link. Uh, so we wanna go ahead and pair these two together. Works via Bluetooth, so just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on first. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn on our brain link. There we go, we're connected. So now this being our receiver, we'll go ahead and place it just like right over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on our brain link. There we go, and then we're gonna clip that into place just like that. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and put on our center like this. And you wanna go ahead and strap it as tight as possible to get a good contact. And then this one goes on the ear. And now we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, oh, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on uh, by simply switching it on just like this. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Too many thoughts. Uh, alrighty, Whew, okay. Okay, so, okay, this thing's working really crazy. Okay, so if you focus and just calm, The robot will move, just like that. <laughs> uh, that's only when you tense, but you want to go ahead and relax and the robot should move forward. Okay. No, I'm not firing. Stop firing. <laughs> okay, this is a lot harder than it looks. Okay. I know if I turn my head to the right, the robot will rotate to the right. And again, it's firing. Turn my head to the left. Left. Okay, so the way it works is quite interesting. So as you already noticed that we're having some technical difficulties, it's using my thought process. So me talking isn't probably a good thing in terms of how it's contributing to itself. I'm trying my very best to make this robot move forward right now. <laughs> okay, stop. Watch this video. This is how easy it looks when this guy does it.
All right, now let's see if we can do this. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and relax. Okay, we're gonna eliminate that step. We're gonna go ahead and move my head to the right. Okay, let's go ahead and move my head to the left. Move my head to the left. Move my head to the left. There we go, look at that, it's working. <laughs> okay, then I can go ahead and move my head up. Move my head down. Um, down. Up. <laughs> What is going on? Okay. All right, obviously this does require some finesse and some ability to learn how this all works out. And now I'm calm. The robot is moving forward. Move forward. 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 <laughs> Why? Anyways. So it kind of gives you an idea what that is. It does require some learning curve. It definitely is really cool, I have to say. Uh, I, I really think it's a unique aspect and it just... <laughs> Hold on, okay, 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 okay. So anyways, yeah, so there you guys have it. Um, this here is the brainwave link for the Space Warrior. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy off now. And we're gonna try something a little bit different. We'll try out our spider. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this guy and see if this works. Uh, so I just connected to it, uh, again, via Bluetooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and put up my strap. Okay, let's see if this works. Move, 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 move. Why is it not moving? Okay, focus. Walk. All right, I don't know what else to do. I tried every single thing to make this thing move and it is not moving. All right, well, there you guys have it. Unfortunately, we were not able to control the robotic spider using our brain, but we were able to control the space warrior itself, and that was actually a lot of fun. Now, it does require a big learning curve, and it allows you to learn a lot more about being able to control yourself mentally before you can go ahead and pilot to one of these amazing robots. Now, it, we did, we're able to connect to this, but apparently it's not really moving anything at all. I mean, I have it on, I have it connected, moving my head, I'm thinking, I'm stressing, and it just doesn't seem to move at all. But anyways, uh, yeah, kind of gives you an idea exactly what it's about. Really cool stuff, very futuristic, and yeah, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.